I mean, just hard times is what made me, you know, the person I am today. You know, being able to, you know, overcome everything that I did in this last, you know, year and a half, two years for me, it's been a blessing, man. And, and so when I'm out here, I see every opportunity, you know, as an opportunity for me to get better, uh, for me to help the team. And so, you know, as I came to camp, I came to camp locked in, trying to, you know, prove, you know, what everybody else around me know that I'm uh, able to play on the highest level. How, how are you liking those cleats? Oh, yeah, I love these cleats, man. These are my most prized possession right now, man. OVJ got me right, man. <laughs> we good. Where did you get them in camp? Uh, I just got them not too long ago. Like this yeah. week? Yeah, yeah, breaking them in. Are you going to wear them or is it you going to like, have them sign them and keep them? Oh, no, I'm going to wear these. Wear he gave it to me to wear, so I got to wear I got to, you know, show them off a little bit. All right. I mean, with those two picks, that phrase, nose for the ball, comes up. Do you feel like you're one of those guys that just sort of has a nose for the football? Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Uh, good things happen when you run to the ball, so whenever I'm uh, on the field, I'm active, um, trying to get get around the ball and, and be a uh, be as the best uh, teammate that I can be. How, how much of that is it instinctive? How much of it is prep? How you know? I mean, yeah, man, just instincts. You know, preparation, watching film, being able to be up on my uh, be up on my game, yeah. being able to know what what's coming from the uh, offense, just being ready. You know, that that's the main thing, being ready to uh, play this game. John Johnson said that. I think you guys live in the same building or something. He's kind of yeah. taking you under his wing a little bit. So oh, what, yeah. what is your relationship with John? Oh, yeah, man. John's a uh, big brother that I never had, man. Um, you know, like he said, staying in the same building with him, I can go up. You know, anytime he stay in the penthouse, I don't stay in the penthouse. He stay in the penthouse, I go watch a uh, film with him. You know, go hang out, talk ball, talk life, a lot of things. You know, just, a, uh, you know, like I said, a big brother. Yeah, I mean, did he kind of initiate that? Oh, I mean, we kind of gel, man. We got kind of the same, you know, personalities. And, you know, I knew about him from, you know, uh, L.A., you know, and things like that. And so as soon as I seen him, you know, I just try to be like a sponge towards him and towards the other uh, older guys that I see here. You know, as soon as I got here, man, it, it was able, you know, it was an open door policy, you know, open locker policy to any guy that, you know, that was here, that, they're willing to talk to you, willing to help you. You know, it's not, you know, a lot of those stuck up older guys, things like that, man. This is a great organization, great locker room, these guys. You know, they laugh, they talk, they talk ball with you. Uh, Anthony Walker also stays in my uh, building. He's, you know, he be right there with me and John, you know, all the time, us three just hanging out, you know, the rookie and the vets. So it, it's a great feeling.